guys welcome to FRC this is your host Karan today actually I wanted to show you some of the features about uh, Polar uh, H10 um, chest heart rate strap um, it's it's a heart rate monitoring strap uh, it's generally used in like uh, you know um, physical activity intense physical activity uh, during workouts uh, in the gym or even jog or even walking if you want to consistently monitor your um, heart rate and how it's reacting in the intense workout so I wanted to show you actually I'm using it for past uh, some time uh, since 2018 actually uh, I bought this and I'm using it and I bought it online through Polar's website directly and uh, it's H10. They used to have H7 uh, before this, but this is the updated model uh, during that time actually. Because it's uh, now it's 2021 January, so um, it's been a while now. But uh, I bought it sometime in 2018, in sometime uh, in September, November, end of 2018, I would say. So it was on a sale that that time. So I got a good deal, but it was online. Uh, in in uh, I'm in Canada, so I bought it online. Um, they have a head office in in uh, Montreal, Quebec, and their their servicing service. I mean, the repairing service is so fast. If you have something in warranty, and uh, and it needs repairing, they really help you out. They do send you like a shipping label very quickly. They pick up your parcels and. Um, you know they fix the things within two three weeks you have back in your hand you know actually my this was okay this was fine there was no problem with this when I bought it but actually uh, I had a polar watch also which I bought and I it was I was using it for some time but this only the strap part actually broke um, I was traveling outside Canada so um, uh, when I came back, I, I told them that yeah, it's broken and it's damaged during the travel. So they immediately took care of it. Their customer service is amazing, by the way. And Polar itself they make good quality products and services. So uh, this is, uh, I want to talk to you about the Polar H10 heart, heart rate monitor. So this is um, uh, Polar H10. By the way, it's a little bit used. It's a little bit variant. It's not brand new. It's uh, it, This is uh, since 2018, I'm using it on and off occasionally. Uh, not occasionally but I mean like you know uh, a few times a week so uh, this is actually it's not brand new it's a little bit you probably notice some uh, scrapes and colors coming off and stuff like that so I'm showing you this after intense use and this use will tell you that uh, it's durable it's durable material the product they make is very good quality products so uh, this is main H10 sensor actually which actually picks up your Bluetooth signals. So this is what it looks like. It's like this. It's like a touch button uh, which snaps to your uh, strap. And it's it's right there. Uh, this is the sensor itself. So, uh, and it goes on this. It goes on this strap. Uh, and it, inside of the strap, you notice this, uh, this electrode actually. See, you notice coming out. So the way uh, it monitors uh, your heart rate based from uh, from the wristwatch monitoring is slightly different because it uh, it picks up on the you know uh, electric pulse generated from your heart and uh, and based on that it gives you the beats and uh, and heart rate monitor on your wristwatch it monitors based on your um, um, blood flow in your veins and arteries so based on that it calculates um, the beats so um, that's why I wanted to show you the difference and accuracy because in comparison with other uh, straps heart rate monitor in fitness arena I mean um, this strap is very accurate product from polar as as of I know because I've been using since 2018 on and off and uh, it's it giving me good results it's uh, the only downside is that the app, Polar Beat app, which it uses to, um, you know, where it accumulate all the data, it, that is a totally data oriented app. I mean, it's, uh, I wish it, it is, um, it could be more, more uh, user friendly, the interference could be more, more friendly, more, uh, more updated one, but I wish they can do update, uh, updating for that also. But uh, besides that, the hardware of this is very good. I mean, it's waterproof, it's durable. I mean, I've been using it since 2018 and in this sensor, I have changed the batteries only once. 
So in that sense, it's very durable. And in, in sense of this elastic, it's also a stretchy material. It's wear off now because it's been two years now, but otherwise it's very durable. After two years, I mean, there's little wear and tear and there's little slight damage. That's, that's uh, I think that's normal. Uh, but you can separately buy uh, only strap if you want. Uh, just a sensor is um, you can keep it and you can just change a new strap if this is damaged because uh, it has a part here uh, electrode which monitors your heart rate that's a very important part so if anything any part of this is damaged you better replace it for accurate accurate results and hey guys um, I wanted to show you like how app reacts while uh, I'm working out and what it records I will uh, I will post my app usage uh, the app it, it connects to is polar beat uh, you can find that in Android and Apple um, Apple Store. So um, this is the Polar uh, Beat app. It monitors your distance, your heart rate, uh, elevations, uh, things like that. It also uses your phone's GPS to monitor uh, the areas and distance you run. So uh, hang tight, keep watching FRC. I'll be posting some of the videos while working out uh, and the uh, usage of the app. Uh, and uh, if you feel that some of the area and topic in the app is not covered, if you need more information about the app, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down in the video. Thank you and have a nice day and stay healthy. Hey guys, um, so I wanted to work out and increase my heart rate and I will, I will show you how the app works. Uh, Polar Beat app is in uh, in iPhone and it um, what it does is uh, while measuring your heart rate, it has zones. Uh, in different colors is identified in different colors so if you want to increase your stamina and you want to maintain the same zone level from green to yellow to red or blue and gray so that is uh, depends on your own fitness level what you're looking for in in general this app is uh, give you raw data I mean it's uh, only the negative side of this app is that it's not very user interference friendly but it's data oriented it gives you a lot of data in the app and uh, it tells you uh, where you need to work out more often but in general polar is very good products uh, app is very good give you accurate products in this fitness arena thank you and stay safe